Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my live loops workflow and some shortcuts. So let's begin. What you're looking at right now is the arrangement view. If you want to toggle both the arrangement view and the live loops view, you press option B. Alternatively, you can click this icon over here. So to get to the arrangement view on its own again, press option N. To get the live loops view on its own, press option L. So I'm going to press option L, and here we are in the live loops view. You have your cells. Each cell can hold a musical phrase, whether it's a MIDI region, a sequencer pattern, a loop, or an audio recording. At the bottom, you'll have your columns numbered 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. And above the column number, you'll have these playhead arrows. And what that does is it plays any of the corresponding cells within that column. Now, this sounds much like the arrangement, but what makes it different is you can play a different cell from column three and another cell from column one at the same time. This is what makes it different from the arrangement view. So let's move on. Here is a real example. I have a chorus. I have one half of a verse. And the second half of the verse is a little bit empty. I'm going to press option B and I'm going to move from the arrangement to the live loop section. And the reason why I'm showing it this way is because most of us know the arrangement view. So most of you have seen people highlight the regions and drag it. Another way to do this is to highlight the regions and press function command left arrow. And that will copy the regions and paste it into the live loops area. So I'm going to highlight these guys again, function command left arrow. And let's do it for these, these guys. OK, so I'll just do it for the rest of the section. There we go. That's our whole arrangement. So column one and two in color brown, that's our chorus. Color yellow in columns three and four is our verse. And these are just other sections. So now we have it color coded and I'm going to press option L. That will give me the live, live loops view. And I want to play. If you click a cell and press enter, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to play the column. That's what I mean. If you want to play the column, irregardless of where your cell, where your cursor is placed. So you can see this little red icon. I'm moving my arrow keys, and that's how I navigate each cell. If I want to play an entire row, you may already know that you click this guy over here. And that will play. But another way to do it is to just press Option Command Enter. So wherever you are, whichever column it is, when you press this key command, it'll play the entire column. So let's play it from the beginning and all the way to the verse. And let's see what the live loops looks like in action. Option Command Enter, and we'll begin at column one. So this is the first half of the verse. And this is the second half. There's nothing right now. So what I'm going to do is play this guy again, column number four, the second half of the verse, and start clicking these MIDI clips and find out what we can get. So I'll press this again. All right, so this is what we have. And you'll see this little circle. And I'm going to click this guy around the same time. Now you'll hear a bit of a delay because the quantize start is at one bar. Next, I'll click the kick and the snare.
Okay, great. So you can see that you can click different clips from different columns and play them at the same time. What happens if you want to add this into a new column on its own? Well, first things first, you're going to want to make an empty column. And the way to do that is to press function command down arrow. And you'll see here's an empty column. So make sure that you click left and right. Just make sure that you're, you're highlighting the empty column where you want to paste your new arrangement. So I'm going to press the space bar. And let's say I add this hat. So now I've used clips from column two, column three, and column five. I want to add all of these guys into column four, which we created by pressing function command down arrow. So the way to do that, you press play. And while it's playing the clips, you press function command up. Here we go. And now it pace. So I can play it from the beginning. Option command enter. There we go. We have our new arrangement. Great. So I'm going to press option B again. And I want to start taking a look at my arrangement. Now you'll notice something. All of these guys I are highlighted in gray, which means they're muted. If I were to play something here, it still plays the loop. So you see this guy at the center between the live loops section and the arrangement section, these two left and right arrows. You can just toggle them and it'll go between the live loop section and the arrangement section. So for example, if I click one of the tracks, one of the center arrows, you'll see it change from gray to blue or whatever color you've used. And to do it for the whole section, you click this guy over here at the very top. It's the same icon. Or alternatively, you can press Shift, Control, Option, T. And that will toggle you between the live loop section and the arrangement section for the entire project, all the regions. And if you want to do it individually, you can just press it one by one, right? So if I want to test whatever I'm playing now, column four, with these tracks, I can do that. Right? I can even loop this. I can play the bass chorus. Great. Now, what do I do if I want to perform my arrangement? I can just delete these guys, but in my case, I'm just going to create track alternatives because I want to save this. And I want to record my performance. Well, I can go to column number one. I can press Option, Command, Enter, but not, nothing happens. If you press Control P, that will turn on the Record Performance option, and you can see it here. You can also click this guy. So now, if I record, So I'm muting that other hi-hat from column four and I'll play it, play it now. And I want to skip column five, so I'm going to go to column six, right? And you can see in the right hand side, it's arranging.
So there you go. I had a system overload. Sorry about that. But you'll notice something. I made a pause. And the way I did that was I pressed this stop button and that stops everything that's playing. But this playhead is still moving and that, that's what makes the capture performance really fun. You can pause things. You can even add effects if you wanted to with the Logic Remote. So we're going to do just that, just a little snippet. So I'm going to delete these guys again and I'm going to toggle my iPad. So here's my iPad screen. You have your effects clips and I can essentially press it with my hands, obviously. And I can use different filters. like that. So this is the live loops view. And now you can see that you can rearrange things, improvise. I bet people can and will even perform with this. I hope this video helped. It's a really, really big feature update. And I, I'm still figuring it out. So if you have any questions, let me know. Enjoy. And let's all learn this, learn this together and take care.